can't see it. Well, 98 hours after the Eskimos had put the finishing touches on Monday's 37-16 victory at McMahon. Here we go again as these two teams get set for the Labor Day rematch. Edmonton has won the first two matchups, the third and final regular season matchup between these two is on here in Edmonton. And this is John Reynolds across the 30-yard lines of the lack of mobility Henry May go through. Prop with a shotgun snap right from the get-go. Balls down, picked up, but Shannon Garrett is going to run it down to the end zone. Touchdown, first play. Hot snap right through the hands of Henry Burris. Bounced straight up, and Shannon Garrett ends up with it. What a start for the home team. In blocking is... Calgary looks for a tying touchdown to Ryan Thelwell. They've got it. What an answer by the Stampeders. After the early gaff, they bounce right back. And a four-yard touchdown pass from Burris to Ryan Thelwell. 24 left first half. Tied at 10, and Henry Burris going to air it out. Looking for Jermaine Copeland, who has it at the Edmonton 40-yard line. Sandro surveying a 40-yarder. And he has 13 consecutive field goals. Tristan Jackson awaits at the Edmonton 50. High boot by Deals, and it's Jackson back at the 40. Jackson trying to get outside, and does! Across midfield, Tristan Jackson down to the 28-yard line. He's back! Prefontaine now from 19 yards out to tie the game. They start at their 22, and Ricky Ray throws an interception. Shannon James has the pick, and he has the touchdown. And just like that, Ricky Ray steps in and throws it right into the hands of Shannon James, who he does not see. Play action, quick hitter, Teo Johnson has a first down inside the 10. This is Peter's second and goal from the eight. Looking for Peter. And looking for Copeland, number 25, Jermaine Copeland. Touchdown, Stampeders. And now A.J. Harris out of the backfield with room. Brandon Brown will toss him down. What a night for A.J. Harris, second and five. Ray looking for 144. No, he'll it down. He wants a block. And to be able to direct traffic and tell Calvin McCarty to go ahead and pick up a block, and it's the block he needs to get him in the end zone. Here comes the blitz for Dwayne Carpenter. Just got away. Peterson. Oh, oh, oh level oh. again. Dwight Anderson. Calgary digging down right now. Two big hits in the secondary. On third down, they're going to punt in. Trouble Prefontaine dropped it, and he's dropped. All the way back at the 15-yard line. Ready to go. First and 20. And Burris back to toss. Looking down to the goal line. It's caught. Touchdown. An outrageous catch by Kenyon Rambo. And the Stampeders are that close to avoiding the sweep against their hated rivals. There's still time in this game. There is second and 17. But close enough for a shot right here. Across the middle, and Fred Stamps has it down at the three. Matthew Bertrand trying to get it in as soon as he can, and he does power his way in. 49 seconds left. He'll have to go onside kick, try and get the ball back. Here we go. Up in the air in front of that Calgary bench. Come out, Peterson. Off him. Is that Edmonton football? They're going to talk about it. After reviewing the play, there is no conclusive evidence to overturn the ruling on the field. It will be Calgary's ball. It's the late Kenyon Rambo touchdown does stand up, and the Stamps win it 38-33, to so the Eskimos are unable to sweep the Stampeders. Bomb, 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 uh, 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 uh. It's Jermaine Copeland, Calgary Stampeders, and this is our league.